All right, so we got Until Dawn Remake versus Original First Wendigo Encounter Scenes. Let's get to this game. Oh my goodness, racist. Oh, oh. Wait, which one's the, the remake? I think it's the, I think the right is the remake. No, the left is. No. Wait, 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 which one's the remake? Oh, the right is. The right is. The right. I think the right's the remake. Wait, why is it kind of hard for me to tell? Yeah, the right's the remake, yeah. Hey, bro, that's not even funny, bro. That's not even funny to begin with. Oh my god, my heart. I can't lie to you, I'm on Red Bull right now, so like, I'm, I'm buzzing a little bit. I can't lie to you. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know how Emily survived this, but... Oh no, you could die as Emily right here. I think if you jump off early or whatever, and you go to like the little meat grinder thing, then she dies, obviously. Hey, hey, yo, hey. I see you. Don't move. Do not move. Yo, this Wendigo was really gunning for Emily, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. This Wendigo was gunning for her, bro. It was not letting up. Hey, dodge, dodge, do something. Oh, that was actually kind of okay. Went around. Nice. Wait, did the um. Okay, that was actually smart by her. Oh, right here. Okay, so if she jumps off early, or whatever. Like, if she, oh no, not my bad. If she stays on, she's gonna go into like a little meat grinding thing. She has to jump off, I think. Yeah, no, no, leap off. Yeah, jump off, jump off. Yo, that one to go was not playing at all. Hurry up, lock it, hurry up! Why are you... What is, bro? Yo, what's with Emily, like, doing something and then having her back facing towards the thing? Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my... How did she survive that? <laughs> How did she? Yo, that was like a 40 foot drop. That was like a 40 foot drop and she just got up and she it just tanked it. <laughs> yeah. Bro, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, right? And whenever it just comes to Emily, right? And I'm, you know, some people like Emily, some people don't like Emily. I would say this, I'm just being completely real. I did not like Emily. Um, he, bro, the thing is, right, at the beginning of the story of, like, Until Dawn, I hated Emily. I'm like, bro, she has, a mad, or like, she has like, a, a attitude all the time. All she do is complain. Like, you know, she wants the best of both worlds. Like, her mouth is her biggest problem, da 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 da, da. But then, bro, seeing her, you know, going up against this Wendigo, and, bro, like, I mean, she survived. Obviously, you know, she could die. Uh, like obviously, you know, if she gets caught or if she stays like on like that little uh, on like that little uh, factory wheel thing and she goes inside the, it, it, I think she if, if you stay on you go into like the little meat grinding thing and she dies like I said before But if you jump off then you know, like, you know, we get this one right here So if I'm being honest with you, um, like Emily, bro, she's strong She's very strong, bro. And bro. I don't know how listen This is like a let's analyze the, like this fall and bro before we even analyze the fall why does she do this? Like, bro, Emily, she would, like, do something. Like, she would, like, uh, get away from, like, the window or whatever. She would, like, lock the door and then turn her back on the door. You do know he can go through this. This is wood. You do know that that menace, that that Wendigo menace can go straight through this. Why do people, bro, like, it's not even just Emily. I see this all the time in, like, scary movies or, like, something like that. They would, like, lock the door and barricade the door and then put their back on the door. Like, oh, my God. Woo, I'm safe. No, you're not. No, you're not, bro. Run. What are you talking about? Bro, why do people do that? I'm like, bro, it's like, it's so, like, bro, it boggles my mind, bro. Like, cool, you locked the door. Cool, you barricaded the door. Cool, you, 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 like, locked all four, like, locks on the door. Bro, don't put your back against the door and be like, oh, okay, I'm safe. Bro, didn't Jessica do the same thing and then she got snatched through the door? From the Wendigo, didn't she do this like the same thing, bro? Why do people do that, bro? That's like I've never seen nobody do that in real life. Never, I've never seen somebody like get chased from something, 
turn around, close the door, lock the door, and then put their back on the door like, whoo, all right, I'm safe. Whoo, that was a close one. No, no. See, we lock the door and we continue to run or we try to find a way out. There is no lock the door and then put my back against the door. Like, she thought she was safe. That's the thing that really, that's the thing that's killing me. She locked the thing and thought she was safe. You're not safe. You are not safe at all. Look, bro, he almost got you with one. He almost got you with one swat. Um, all right, let's analyze the jump. Let's analyze the jump. This jump, but first of all, let's be honest, right? If you even hop on like one of these, I don't even know what this is called. Maybe this is like a, like a zip line type of thing. Oh, this is like, this is like, uh, it's like a zip line. If you hop on a zip line, right? And you're going full speed. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this. How did she survive this, bro? That's, cr listen, if you're on a zip line or whatever, bro, and you are flying down a zip line and you know, okay, as soon as I hit this thing right here, I'm flying. I'm flying. As soon as I hit this thing and the zip line like disconnects, whatever, it's GG's. I'm breaking it. Listen, if I die, I die. If I don't, I don't. The fact, look at this. It's, listen, she's going fast as, she, bro, she's going fast as the flash. Look. Boom. So she knows. All right, it's off. Look at the jump. The, bro, the fall, I'm saying that's at least 30 to 40 feet. How is she not dead? Now, granted, it is snowing. So, yes, yeah, snow can, snow can, I guess, save, like, save from, like, a fatal fall or whatever. But there is no way she got up and just tanked that, bro. That is, bro, that is a fault, bro. Oh, my goodness. Look. Look how high she is, bro. Think about it. Look, look, look. Look at this. Listen. From the top of this to the, to the ground, that's at least what? 80 feet. Let me see. Yeah, bro, that's it. Bro, oh my. Bro, that's like 100 feet. Boom. Bro, she fell from the power lines, bro. Oh my good. Bro, the first. Bro. And again, granted, it's snow. So I understand. All right, cool. It's snow. But, bro, you still hit the ground, though, bro. She bounced off the ground, bro. And then she started rolling, bro, like a roly poly. Bro. And the fact, I mean, all right. I mean, I did learn that, like, you know, like, like the little parkour people, the people that like that jump between buildings and stuff like that. I did learn that, like, if you jump from like a high place, whatever, and like you jump and you land, you know, because like those parkour people land on their feet and then they hurry up and like roll to like lesser to like um to like basically like make the make the uh force from the fall go through their whole and like uh I think they make like the force of the fall go through like their entire body or whatever. That's why they. That's why like. That's like I, I jump from the like this distance to like right here. I would jump, and as soon as I land, I would roll. So like I wouldn't feel it in my feet or whatever, bro. She landed like on her back, bro, and then rolled like a log, and then got straight up. How do you do this? I, it gotta be adrenaline. It, it, it gotta be adrenaline. I think I think it's adrenaline, bro. Because I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be. Here's the thing, right? When you have something that's like what seven to eight feet is built like Kevin Durant. If you don't know who Kevin Durant is, he's a he's a basketball player. Look it up. If you have that, if you have like that type of thing, bro, chasing you, and like you're you are literally near death, bro. Your adrenaline is gonna kick in, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Even if you fall from like a high place, whatever, your mind you're not even worried about the pain. You're probably just just gonna. I mean, well, yeah, like the pain is still there, but you're most likely just gonna just get up and like try to like run. Like, you probably won't even feel it, bro. There's people, like, bro, there's people, bro, who has so much adrenaline from, like, a near-death experience or whatever that, like, bro, they're so, like, their adrenaline is so spiked up that, bro, they can, like, get shot and not even notice. Do you guys know that? Like, bro, like, imagine getting shot, but, like, you don't even notice because, like, your adrenaline is, like, flowing through you and, like, you're just trying to live. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> I mean, listen, she's still, like, listen, she's still, like, feeling her arm, like, Vegeta. Like, she's, like, she, she's trying to, like, massage the arm. And to be honest with you, bro, like, like, I don't even think she's, like, wow, look at this graphic difference. This is crazy. 
Like Emily's hair definitely, <laughs> Emily's hair definitely got better, uh, you know, in the remake. So I'll, I'll definitely admit that. One. That's just crazy. Like I, I don't know how, I don't know how she survived that fall, bro. But that was one deep fall. Uh, comment down below, man. What do y'all think about this? Um, we got like a lot of Until Dawn videos. We got a lot of uh, Silent Hill videos coming through as well. Um, we also got uh, a few Call of Duty uh, trailers coming through as well. It's like hype trailers for Black Ops Six. So. Um, we got a lot of videos today, a lot of shorts. And make sure you guys, if you actually, uh, guys are coming from the shorts, shout out to you guys for watching, you know, the videos, stuff like that. But uh, we have a lot of content coming through for the channel. Make sure you guys like the videos, coming channel. If you guys are new. And um, I, listen, I'm still tripped up over, like, the fall, bro. That fall, that's a far fall, whatever. Um, comment down below if you guys are actually enjoying the Until Dawn remake. Uh, I like it. I like it. It looks way, I wouldn't say it looks way better because the PS4 version of Until Dawn looks absolutely perfect. Um, and then now we have like the remake version where, you know, everything's more detailed, like everything, I would say that it gives off like a whole different mood. Um, I, I think it's more of like a scary movie if that's the case, but other than that, man, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys have a smile and.